And now we're welcoming special teams coordinator Matt Daniels here inside TCO Studios. I'm Tatum Everett, and I'm very excited to sit down to you. This is an exciting opportunity for you, the first time with the official special teams coordinator title to the name. So what are you most excited for? Uh, I think I think just the opportunity to, to work with these guys, uh, an incredible organization in the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, Kevin brings a lot to the table, innovation. Uh, a leader of men and uh, the ability that Quasi has, has done to get here. And, and I'm just really excited to work with the organization and, and really get my hands on these players. Sure, you're one of the few coaches actually that did not cross paths with Kevin before yes. getting the job. Yes. But you do have ties back to Sean McVay. So what made you decide that this would be the right fit for you to take off the assistant title and take full control of a special teams unit? Well, you know, you look at a guy like Sean McVay and what, what he's been able to do in his league. And I had a great talk with Sean. And I had a great talk with a lot of guys back in LA uh, just about Kevin and what he's all about, what his process is. And, and he checked all the boxes for me just in terms of how he likes to go about it, what his process looks like, how intentional he is. And, you know, he just looked at that and I, 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 it was a no brainer for me. Uh, it was a no brainer. You played safety in college and in the league. What kind of an asset is that when you're in meeting rooms with players one on one? Yeah, uh, just in terms of uh, being personable, relatable, uh, really getting my guys to believe in what I'm coaching them, the why behind it, and most importantly, once they believe in it, uh, they buy into it. And, you know, that's just really the, the my my peak and, and the reason why I get my guys to be able to play so hard. How did your love of coaching, or, or how did this coaching journey begin for you? Because you haven't been doing it that long. Right, right. Uh, well, you see, the interesting thing is, is that I've always been passionate about football, but I've also always been passionate about giving back to the game of football. And so for me, when I first in initially entered the league 2012 as a rookie, I kind of already had the idea in my mind, as well as kind of just communicating throughout the building, that I knew one day that I wanted to be a coach in the NFL. And so I kind of set myself up at the very beginning of my coaching career back in 2012, just mm -hmm. really latching on the bones. Uh, John Fossil, who's a coordinator uh, in Dallas, I really latched on to him, always in his meeting room, always asking questions, his process, uh, you know, how does he think? Why does he do the things that he does? And so it really started at a very early, early in my career as a player where I always knew that I wanted to be a coach. And so here I am, uh, you know, four years as a coach in the NFL. I'm, I'm getting my opportunity and I couldn't be any more excited about it. And then he went on to hire you, yes. which is great. Uh, besides yes. him, what are some of your coaching influences? I would say uh, some of my biggest coaching influences would definitely be David Cutcliffe. He was my he was my head coach at Duke University. Uh, he poured a lot into me. He showed truly showed me what it looked like in terms of a faith, family, football organization, and really just put, poured into me the the love of the game. Uh, I look at a guy like Mike McIntyre, who's a head coach at uh, Florida International right now. He really taught me about the attentiveness to the details. And you know, I look at a guy like Sean McVay, who who really gave me my first opportunity along with Bones to be a coach in the NFL. And I look at what, how he goes about it, just being a savant in this in this league, how personable he is, how relatable he is, uh, his elite communication to his mm -hmm. players, uh, really offering up clear job responsibility throughout the entire organization that really just allows the kind of wheels to keep, keep turning. The Viking special teams from 2020 to 21, it was a big improvement, pretty much like a weakness to a strength. Absolutely. Now that you've had some time to sit back and see what all is at your fingertips, what are you most excited about this special teams unit? I would say I'm, I'm most excited about just the, the players, uh, the energy that they bring. Uh, I got a lot of respect for Ryan Ficken and what he was able to do, the turnover from 2020 to 2021. You see the effort, you see the high energy, the high motor, uh, you see the guys playing collaboratively. So I'm just really excited about getting my hands on guys like Chris Boyd, Josh Martellis, uh, CJ Ham, Ryan Conley, uh, you know, a lot of the guys, uh, Troy Dye, I'm sure it might be a couple guys that I'm leading off, uh, leaving off, but I had an opportunity to go ahead and as soon as I got here uh, in the building Monday, I got on the fall, phone and, and called a lot of those guys up, just letting them know how excited and, and ready I am, uh, you know, just to pour my all into them. 
And what are what are the hopes that you could take Kane Wangu to the next level? I mean, he oh, had such a yes, great rookie yes. year. I, mean, I could see it in your yes, face just yes. saying I, the I name. Talk, I, I talked to Kane. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm really excited about it. Uh, the kickoff return aspect is something that that it, that really ignites me on the inside because it's such a momentum play, field position type play. And you look at a guy like Kane, and I believe that he has all the attributes and characteristics that you're looking for uh, to be an elite returner in his league. Uh, he's got the contact balance. He's got the courage he's got the ball skills he's got the one cut runner and he's got the home run speed so uh you know i've already kind of talked to kenne when i first got here on monday i'm really excited about it you know it's funny funny story is is uh kenne actually got his first opportunity to be on the acting roster for the same week that we played him uh in dallas uh, yeah. we played dallas uh, he was active and so we found out on like a Friday or so, really good, went ahead and grabbed some of his tape, kind of looked at what he did in college. And, and you know, to be honest, we were a little like, eh, not so sure, you know, unexpected guy, probably want to just kind of kick it out of the end zone. We'll see what he got, but you know, we won't be we won't be the team to find out to see, you know, what this guy really all about. And surely enough, the following week, I believe it was the Baltimore Ravens. Mm -hmm. You know, he took it 103 to the crib. So, you know, you know, in hindsight, me and Bones like, Whew, you know, <laughs> You know, glad we <laughs> kicked that thing out of the end zone and allowed someone else to kind of see what he got. But really excited about Kane. Yeah, now he's at your disposal, which yes. is great. Thank yes. you so much to new Viking yes. Special Teams Coordinator Matt Daniels for joining us.